I, I know you've been living in the States for many years. Have you talked with your families and friends why this is like this kind of a hatred? Because uh, obviously there are some stereotypes of Asians, but uh, crimes and, and, and horrifying attacks against Asians, is, is it because of COVID? I honestly, I think for me, as someone who was born and raised here, right, in, in essence, I have a lot of my own personal experiences being Asian American, experiencing discrimination in a micro level, in a very overt, I, I mean, um, thank goodness, I, ha I myself have never been attacked, but I know people that have been attacked physically. Mm -hmm. um, I think, is it something that's new? Not at all. It's something that existed okay. before I was born before, you know, a long time ago. I mean, if we look at the history, uh, you know, the unfortunate reality is that even for myself, it's not something that was taught to me in school. It wasn't until I'm older now that I learned of, of things such as the Chinese Exclusion Act in the 19th century. Yeah. So it's not even that far back. It's actually recent in, in the scope of time where, yeah, there was a period of time where the sentiment in the country is we don't want you here and and we're literally going to use legal action to prevent you from coming here uh and a lot of general public do not even know about these histories and then if we go to a time that is even more recent than than the chinese exclusion act something that's more violent and something that's more deadly i think um the case of vincent chen vincent chen mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people didn't even know this name i didn't learn, learn of this name so i became older it wasn't taught to me in school and this is a a, a landmark case unfortunately, in that it, it was a violent murder of a Chinese American uh, young man. Um, he was about to be married and he basically was was killed by, um, in this case, uh, two white men and, and they attacked him with, with a bat and, and killed him. Uh, and I think the center point of all of this is that as much as was presented that this was a crime driven by race and by hate, uh, it was never acknowledged as that. And, mm. you know, this was in 1982, the year that I was born. Oh. So I think I think um, even that story is, is something that only recently in the recent weeks and months, more people are learning about because a lot of there is a sense of like, no, nah, Asians are not being discriminated. They never have been. And then that's when these things have to be reminded and, and brought brought up to people. Even if you look at the history of some of the first Chinese immigrants to, to the U.S. Uh, that were uh, essentially slaves and workers that were building the railroads, you know, I think that something as simple as that, you know, I think is not something that the general yeah. public know or if they do know. They don't know the scope of it. So.